We are here to discuss how to calculate the arc length, or the length of an arc. And um, first of all, what is an arc? Well, an arc is a part of the circumference of a circle. Yeah. So for instance, from here, yeah, you could go all the way till here, and that is then an arc, yeah, because that is a part of the whole circumference. Okay, so an arc is a part of the circumference. And how can I find out the length of this arc, yeah, the length of this part of the whole circumference. And I'll give you a couple of videos, um, but first of all, let's recap how do we find the total circumference of a circle. And I hopefully, oh let me do that in black, hopefully you know by now eh, that is the circumference is 2 pi r. Eh? 2 times pi times the radius. Now, let's say that for this example, the radius of the circle had the length of the line from the center to the circumference is six centimeters. Yeah, let's say let's, let's just put a six there. Okay, six centimeters. Okay, then the whole circumference will be therefore two times pi times six, and that equals well, I don't know exactly what it equals to twelve times three point fourteen. What is that? Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, but. That's why we have calculators. Pi is there. Make sure you know where to find pi. Yeah? And it is 37.69911 and some more decimals. So to three significant figures, that would be 37.7 yeah, centimeters. Okay, that is the circumference of this whole entire circle. Yeah. Now, if I would ask you now, yeah, I'm not interested in the whole circumference. What is the circumference of half the circle? Okay. So, what would be the circumference or the length of this part? And that would be the length of a particular arc because it's a part of the whole circumference. So, if I would ask you what is the circumference of half the circle, what would you do? How would you find that? Well, I hope. And I, and, I, and I think you would find, well, the whole circumference, 37.7, so I would have to divide that by 2 to find half the circumference, yeah? So, if I would say half the circumference, then I would divide my answer by 2. And let's take that unrounded answer, and I would divide that by 2, so that would be 37.6. 9911 and some more divided by 2, which is divided by 2 equals 18.8. Yeah, corrected to two significant figures. Yeah, so that's slightly different than if you would have divided that one by 2, 18.8. Yeah? Okay, so that would be the circumference of half my circle. That's the length of this arc. Okay, now how do you do this? Yeah, let's say officially, yeah, that it will always work for any angle. What did you actually just do? Yeah, because for half a circle, what is what is the the angle of if I would have half a circle? Yeah, what is the angle between those two radii? Yeah, one radius. There's the other one. I know that's the diameter. What is that angle? The angle on a straight line, indeed, is 180 degrees. So what did you do to find the length of that arc? Actually, you found the total circumference and you divided it by two, eh? or you timed it by a half eh? to find the length of this arc. And to just work backwards, a half that is actually 180 out of 360 degrees in total. Eh? That is a half. Okay, now why is that important? Because I want you to solve the following question. If they would give me a radius here and a radius there, and let's say, what is that angle? What is that, 40 degrees? And so I say it's 40 degrees. And now they're asking me, what is the length of this arc? What is the length of this part of the circle's circumference? Okay, well, that's not a problem because for that particular case, and I will just continue in red, well, the, the circumference of the whole circle is 2 pi r, yeah? But I gotta times that by that part of the circle, that fraction of the circle I'm interested in. Now, what is my fraction? Well, that is 40 
out of 360, yeah? 360 degrees in a full turn. And that's what you always do. You look at that fraction of the circle you're interested in. Now for half a circle, yeah, you would just times it by a half. But that is actually 180 out of 360. Okay, so I believe we said that the radius was six. So let's just continue with this one. Two times pi times six times 40 out of 360, yeah? Which is actually one ninth, yeah? One over nine, but okay. That's for the experts. Two times pi times six times 40 over 360 equals and then it's going to tell me that that equals to 4.18879 and a couple of more decimals which corrected to three significant figures yeah, because that's how we have to correct it I'll, I'll do that over here is 4.19 4.19 centimeter square meter square that depends on the unit yeah so it looks a little bit messy i apologize about that yeah so the answer is 4.19 which is the arc length, uh, that part of the circle's circumference that you're interested in, that's the length of this one, yeah? So how do you find the arc length? You find the total circumference, and you times that by that fraction of the circle you are interested in, okay? So let's do a couple of more questions together, and then you can do it by yourself. I'm sure about that. See you soon.